Hello, and welcome to today's book chat. So today I'm going to be talking about the novel Bird Box by Josh Mallerman. It's my dandy cap copy from the library. Um, so I was super, super looking forward to reading this book. I had heard about it probably three or four months ago in a podcast, and I kept having to fast forward because it was giving away way too much about the story, and I didn't want to know a lot. But based on what I did know, it seemed like it was going to be really engaging, um, really compelling, and creepy, scary, something that justifies being called a horror. And you can see the library, you can see there classifies it horror. So I expected to be a little bit scared. And the book definitely met my expectations in some ways. It was absolutely compelling. It was really interesting. I didn't find it scary at all, though, and I was a little disappointed about, about that. So if you're looking for a horror, it's possible this might not be the book for you. But in all other ways, it was definitely really interesting. I got through it in about a day and a half. And I will add that it is possible the reason I didn't find it overly scary is that I read pretty much the whole book on my parents' back porch with the sun shining and the wind blowing through the trees and the river streaming by. And so maybe that tranquil, beautiful scene just made it a little impossible to be scared. I don't know. So anyways, the book is about Mallory, a young woman who is living with her sister and suddenly news items, news article stories start popping up about people the world over um, killing themselves and oftentimes killing other people around them or trying to before they actually kill themselves. So it's really disturbing. Nobody knows what's going on. And eventually it gets to the point where it's figured out that before these people start acting in these absurd ways, they see something. And nobody knows exactly what it is they see because as soon as the person sees it, they're no longer, um, I guess, just a comprehending person. They've turned into this mad person who, as I said, is going to destroy themselves and everyone around them. And so people to deal with this start boarding up their windows, start uh, driving through the with paint on their windshield so they can't see anything. And eventually this progresses and progresses and progresses until Mallory finds herself in a home with a number of other people who have also survived. So everything is boarded up. They can only open their eyes within the house. And anytime they need to go outside for anything, their eyes have to be closed. And so this isn't giving away anything more than what's on the back. It's actually giving way less um, than the description. And right on the cover, don't open your eyes. And so I think the aspect that was really terrifying for most of the readers is having to go through everything with your eyes closed, not knowing what's there, who's there. Um, just having no idea, having that sense completely stolen from you. And yes, it's a terrifying prospect. As I said, I, I didn't feel that terror within the book. There was really only one scene that I found to be somewhat harrowing. But I was really compelled to keep on reading, really engaged. And another thing that was very interesting is this book goes through two timelines, both from Mallory's perspective. And I actually, my novel Beneath the Silence does the same thing. And I was very hesitant of doing that in my own writing because oftentimes in books, when I read something like that, there's one storyline that I really want to follow and the other one's kind of like, okay, 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 get on with that. Uh, let's get to the good stuff. And Bird Box was one of those books where I didn't feel that way at all. I was equally interested in each storyline, which I really enjoyed. And hopefully uh, my readers of Beneath the Silence found the same thing for my book. Uh, yeah, so I really liked it. It is a different book. It is original in many ways. And I think, I think just about anyone could like this book. It's possible you may be too disturbed by some of the ideas, but overall it was really, I feel like it's compelling like four times already, but it was compelling to picture what life would be like in the scenario and to have something that you're terrified of from the character's perspective and to not know what exactly that terror is. It's just something wonderful that you just can't comprehend and that's what causes people to take their lives or if it's something so hideous that they can no longer live after seeing it. And so the book has a lot of questions and I really enjoyed coming up with my own answers. So again, that's Bird Box by Josh Mallerman. <laughs> 
And if you want some links to the book or a little bit more about it, you can head over to my website. That's charlenecar.com. And when you're there, you can also sign up for my mailing list if you want and sample, not sample, actually head, download the first two books in my A New Start series, which is women fiction that deals with issues of loss, of love, of friendship, and of overcoming and starting your life in a new way. So yeah, check it out. Have a great day.